Chicago, the Windy City, a city with a rich architectural history, a city that is cold. Wes Fargram's architecture are pleased to introduce Chicago to the most cutting edge architectural development. Would you go out in this weather without a hat? <laughs> of course not. I wouldn't. And neither should your building. <laughs> uh, excuse me. <clears throat> are you suggesting that we put a big hat on the John Hancock building? <laughs> no. I'm suggesting that you put hats on all of Chicago's buildings. Oh. Wow. believe it's important to honor a building's architectural history. How would the venerable William W. Boynton, born in 1818, feel about his Chicago Board of Trade building being transformed into this? Oh, no, that looks preposterous. Yes, exactly, but what about this? Oh, very jaunty. And a feather? Oh, perfect. Uh, excuse me, how are we going to get these big hats to the top of the building? Oh, <laughs> good question. I can answer that. <laughs> but first, a Newsboy Campbell Tribune Tower. Wow! <laughs> a seasonally festive hat atop two Prudential Plaza. Oh, oh, very oh, <laughs> A fancy hat on the Aeon Center. Oh. And a celebratory hat on Wrigley Field if the Cubs win the World Series. <laughs> When the Cubs win the World Series. Uh, <laughs> of course, a cat and a half hat on Trump Tower! <laughs> Debo hats on Marina City! Excuse me, how are we going to get hats big enough to go on top of these buildings? <laughs> it is simple, and I can answer that. I can answer that. But first, a straw gondolier's hat in Italy. Oh! A beret in France. Oh, oui, oui. <laughs> How about a sombrero in Mexico? Oh! <laughs> a bike fighter's hat in England. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> and a fez in Morocco. Oh, uh, excuse me. Chicago is very windy. What happens if the hats fly away? <laughs> excellent, excellent question. My assistant Peter can answer that. Peter! Look, a Pope hat on St. Alphonse's chair. <laughs> Speaking of which, a yarmulke on Temple Island. Oh. Oh. A turban on Gujwara Saeed. Oh. And um, I don't know what you call it, but it looks pretty cool, right? A mosque Maria. Oh. However, I will say, we will not allow Che Guevara hats on any of our buildings. Way too political. Mm, Excuse no, me. These look very expensive. How much is a big hat going to cost? Uh, I ask myself that question every day, and then I answer it. But first, <laughs> a helmet on the AT&T Center. Wow! A short lady hat on Water Tower. Yeah! And a party hat on Park Tower. Oh. <laughs> However, I shall say, we will not put a hat atop Willis Tower, formerly known as Sears Tower. It is far too tall and would look, frankly, ridiculous with a hat. <laughs> so, we gave it a license. <laughs> hey, have you ever thought about earmuffs? You're talking about <laughs> big hats when they get dirty? Oh, great question, and that I can answer.
<laughs> well, I think you have a deal. <laughs> 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 <laughs>